Hey, hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up With Bay. Today, we're going to make some ooey gooey cheesy Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. We got a ribeye steak here. We got some bell pepper. We got some onion. We're going to dice that up. But while we're dicing that up, I need you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. You can also add in mushrooms if you want to. The mushrooms at the grocery store was not looking appetizing, so I did not get those. But we have some ribeye steak here. This is a beautiful cut of meat. So I'm going to just cut this up. First, I'm going to cut it this way, and then I'm going to cut it the opposite way, and we're going to basically mince it up. Now, you can use steakums or any other type of beef you want. You can even use chicken, or you can use shrimp. It's totally up to you. However, I'm going to season my steak with some chef based seasoning salt. I'm going to get that all in there. And I have my skillet on medium high heat. I'm melting some butter. And now I'm going to throw in my bell pepper. I'm then going to throw in my onion. And I'm also going to throw in some garlic. And I want to throw just a little bit of seasoning on this, so I'm going to hit it with some Chef Bay spicy seasoning salt. And now you just want to mix everything up. I have this just kind of cooking, kind of just mixing it up so that way the vegetables are sauteed. Now we're going to add in our beef. We're gonna let the beef cook all the way through. You can cook it to your liking. Some people like their beef medium well. Some people like it all the way well done. Either way is fine with me. So while this is cooking, I have my egg rolls here and you can get them from your regular grocery store. Um, I got these in like the healthy section so you can find them somewhere in the store if you can't just ask for help. So I'm going to use two pieces of the egg rolls so that way they don't break apart and that way it holds its integrity while it's frying. I'm using some provolone cheese. You can use mozzarella or you can use one of each. It really doesn't matter. And now I'm going to take that mixture that we have in the pan and I'm going to transfer it on top of my cheese. Now I'm going to take an egg, I'm going to add just a little bit of water and I'm going to make an egg wash and mix this up. This will be our glue around the edges of our egg roll. So now it's time to put the egg wash around the corners of the egg rolls. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna start with the bottom of the egg roll. Then I'll take the left side, fold it in. Then I'll take the right side and fold it in. And then I'll finish with the top part. I wish I could show you guys what I'm using one hand to record and the other hand to roll up. So now I'm gonna make the remaining egg rolls. And then I'm going to freeze these babies. I'm gonna freeze them for about at least 15 to 20 minutes. And now that I let these freeze, I took them out the freezer and now it's time to drop them in the hot oil. We're gonna fry these for about five to seven minutes or until they're golden brown. I cook about two to three at a time. No more than that, cause I don't want the temperature of the grease to go down. And now they're golden brown. Just, just out of nowhere, they will get golden brown on you. So watch them, you don't wanna walk away from the stove. Now I'm going to sit these to the side. These look so delicious. All right, so we got these sitting to the side. Now I got to try one for quality assurance. <laughs> so this is what they look like once you break them open. Yes, that looks so delicious. Yes, that, that cheese pool was a mile long, honey. So make sure you guys check out the description box so that way you can get all the ingredients below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my cheesesteak recipe. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. If you're looking for Chef Bay products, make sure you visit my website at www.cuttingupwithbay.com. All the information you need is in the lower left hand corner or you can find that information again in the description box. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and a great weekend. Peace out.